What's up guys, welcome back, OCG Meta Game Breakdown for April 1st, uh, 2020, so the new Master Rule, uh, 2020 Master Rule 5 for the OCG format. It has been quite a while, a couple of weeks since I did the last Meta Game Breakdown for the OCG, but it was basically waiting for their new, well, you know, their new format into the new Master Rules. And uh, past couple of uh, week, weeks, uh, probably, past couple of two weeks, um, you know, they played uh, in the new uh, format, new ban list as well. And uh, two things before we go to the new format, just to refresh our memories, the most, uh, at least the, 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 the meta game breakdown from the previous format, and of course their uh, most recent ban list that we saw that, uh, well, Dragon, uh, the, the Dark Magician Red Eyes Fusion was basically being slapped into basically every deck, a lot of decks were main decking it, even though there are some consequences, it being like a dead card. But Dragon invoked Fusion builds, um, followed by Orcus as well, Sky Striker, Spiral, Dragon Link, um, some Eldlich, Shadows, keep that in mind, same for Thunder Dragons, and then a lot of other decks, uh, including Zephras as well. So, um, now with the ban list, and that's quite important, as you saw, as was revealed, I believe, two weeks ago, is that Konami uh, OCG hit a couple of big cards like Chin finally being hit, uh, LP as well, to hit Dragon Link Ip, the level 5 sy uh, Synchro indeed, and uh, a couple of other honorable mentions uh, in favor, uh, well, in favor. They hit Orcus as well, being Galatea uh, to one, same for uh, Harp Horror, and that's of course one of the big differences between our TCG format, is that they still have one harp horror with uh, Girsu, their Armageddon Knights. And you know, as in the TCG, Dragon Buster 2 1. Other notable picks here for the OCG. Spiral Quick Fix was put back to 1, so that's somewhat of a, a big hit for Spirals. Let's see if they can recover. Other than that, we see a, a big one. Konami trying to address like the, 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 the splash ability of Dark Magician Fusion by uh, limiting the Anaconda, the Link 2, and also uh, limiting the Red Eyes Fusion. So let's see if that's going to have an impact, right? Konami wanted to address uh, like a bro card you know how broken it is if a lot of decks have the ability to splash it in and that uh, on top of that it's completely warping the format or it was warping the format so let's see if that's still the case other than that totally awesome same for the tcg list like instant fusion uh, and so on malicious 2 2 uh, triple blossom triple baby sarasaurus so let's see how dinos are doing there if it's doing something right lady debug also back to three that will be important you'll see it within the next couple of moments so let's go into the new ocg metagame breakdown for so again past couple of weeks ocg tournaments were playing under the new master rule 5 and under their new ban list so starting from march 20th to march 20th Let's take a look. A couple of new cards were released, but let's just go immediately to the breakdown. And, um, well, this speaks for itself. Again, new master rules and it... it for now, again, it's very early, so, you know, it's not really, uh, we, you can't draw, like, any huge conclusions from this, since it's, again, the first, the, the first few weeks into their new format. So, basically, the start. And Orcus as well, uh, being the top most represented deck, even though it got hit on their most recent list with Galatea and Harp Power 2-1. Salomon Great is still doing good, and uh, a couple of changes to the Salad list. You will see it uh, within the next couple of moments, and here it is, Thunder Dragon still doing good because of the one of Colossus. Sky Strikers again also a big difference between the TCG because Engage simply is still at 2. A couple of other decks uh, we see Envoked, uh, No Shadows, that's a bit, a little bit bath, uh, li yeah, a little bit um, surprise, I I'm, I'm surprised about that. Uh, same for Spiral, still doing okay with only one quick fix, Eldlich, uh, some small support as well will show a build uh, again within the next couple of moments, Cyber Dragons as well, and uh, yeah, Dragon Invoked as I mentioned before. So let's go into the list. Uh, first of all, we have Orcus, so with the most recent uh, numbers, Orcus is still the most represented deck, and as you know, before, uh, same for the TCG, it's pretty um, crucial to make your first turn Mascarina play to give you the uh, you as the Orcus player the opportunity to play during your opponent's turn, go for well, let's say Unicorn or whatever during your opponent's turn with Mascarina or whatever. But in the OCG, and that's the the gimmick now, is that um, players Orcus players are moving away from that opening Mascarina play and instead are going for the the Anaconda, the Link to and <laughs> going for the Dragon of Red Eyes, so the Dark Magician Fusion. So that's a little bit ironic, right? Konami wants to 
address the engine and see that it's quite OP, quite broken, borderline broken. And in the new format, people are resorting to that instead of that they were used to in, um, you know, in like the, the old format. So again, strange pick, right, on the list. They definitely could have done more. Anyway, Kaijus are still the necessary uh, counters, the main deck counters maybe, uh, or side deck definitely. I mean, you you have to side against uh, the, the Dragon of Red Eyes and of course the Dark Kaiju in favor of Orcus. And of course Nibiru is also being main decked and or side decked um, against something like Salad, since that's again a very solid list with a couple of new picks. So that's basically it for Orcus, uh, the Access Code Talker here in the, the extra deck as well. So quite convenient, we are going to get that in the TCG with uh, Eternity Code, if I'm not mistaken. So Max T, still at 3, yeah, must be nice. So let's, let's take a look. A couple of new things, and as you see here in the build, is um, a couple of new things. First of all is the addition of the uh, the Parallelic Seed, you know, I believe it's the level 8 Dragon. Uh, it's very similar to, well, not really, I mean, I, I wanted to say Reborn Tengu, but that, that's not really the case. Um, it's searchable off of Format Skipper, and as Road of the King mentions, is that it's like uh, a tech... This particular player tacked it because of uh, Koki Kusaka, you know, it's the current world champion in uh, like the trading card game. He won uh, like a little under a year ago in Berlin. Um, decided to main deck this particular uh, tech format skipper because, you know, if you're going for the Link Summon for your Bailings, you can search out your par par parallel exceed. Again, you know, just opening up those uh, rank 4 exceed plays. As you see here, in the extra deck, cards like Dweller, cards like Bakushka and uh, Dukaris, not to forget, draw to discard one. And also a big difference between us uh, TCG players is that Salad over there still has a double circle, double one for one, because of the Fulmet Skipper. And let's not forget um, Mirage Stelio, <laughs> that's still quite uh, crucial, yeah. Whatever, right? But still, cool text with that parallel exceed in the main, like the format skipper as well. And uh, I'm definitely going to try that out in um, more lists as well. The format skipper into parallel exceed. So that's basically it for salads. And then last but not least, we have Thunders. And as you know, the big thing here with uh, Thunder against Nibiru. Nibiru basically one of their biggest counters is that because of the new Master Rule 5, Master Rule 2020, Thunders uh, or Thunder, the Thunder deck is not uh, being forced to go for the Link play first. Instead, they can just go for Colossus and Titan and still being under the fifth summon. Uh, so that's quite crucial. Again, your opponent not being able to Nibiru, you're one of Colossus. And on top of that, as you see, is that uh, Thunder Dragon players are main making the Thunder Dragon Sky Rumble. Also, I believe a new card from Eternity Code. Again, for some extra protection against a deck like Salamon Great. Uh, uh, yeah, against a deck like uh, not Salads, but I mean, uh, well, Salads a little bit. Be well, because it prevents like targeting or protects your Colossus against st uh, stuff like Altergeist or Sky Striker, right? Stuff like Widow Anchor. That's quite crucial uh, in that particular matchup. So, again. Cool stuff, the Sky Rumble as well from the Eternity Code set, again released in a TCG next month, indeed somewhere like half of May, but um, yeah, Thunders still having one Colossus and Vanity's Emptiness in the main deck. Link Cross, also a card that got uh, limited, even though it still needs to be released in the TCG. So basically a conclusion is that Konami OCG, they wanted to address the Dragon Engine, but they still left some options with, uh, you know, like a high risk of only being able to main deck one Red Eyes Fusion and only one Anaconda, but it seems that people don't care and still try to main deck because it's so powerful, right? It, it negates, it pops, burns, it, it protects, it, it does, it does, it does too much, right? For only being one card. A couple of extra lists. Uh, well, we saw like uh, Invoked, we saw Fusions against Shadol. I feel are a bit underperforming, but uh, Shadol Invoked or Invoked pretty much with the Dragon as well. Magician Souls here, that's cool. But again, as I mentioned before, I feel Shadol's is a little bit underperforming, right? Salads as well, and Eldlich is a new, well, new archetype. In the OCG it has been out for a couple of weeks, but it's out now in the TCG and... Um, I've been testing it out personally myself past couple of days and I'm indeed leaning a little bit more like a pure build, dropping some monsters from the main deck and as we are seeing here in the OCG, they still have the opportunity to main deck triple skill drain and 
uh, I don't really like that the build is uh, pure pure elderly that is, is focusing towards a lot of floodgates, a lot of traps as well. It makes sense because of their effects, but ah, but still, it's not really like the way I want to run the deck with, uh, you know, like the Vampire Sucker, the, uh, their big zombie monster, right? The boss monster. It's, it's, it's Baldurok, I believe the name is. So, uh, Banshee, you know, a zombie. I, I want to play the zombie world build, but it seems that in the OCG they're definitely working or playing towards like the more pure build artifacts as we are seeing here as well. Heroes also, but the biggest change, Malicious at 2. No vision heroes though, but uh, the crossout designator is still quite of a crucial card. And also a big difference between uh, our, yeah, basically our TCG format. Sky Strikers, the last list. Again, that's cool. Main decking the format skipper and the Parallax Seeds as well. So again, quite of an interesting tech. Parallax Seeds is going to be released in the Eternity Code set, I believe, somewhere half of May. So I'm definitely looking forward towards that particular card. So, okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.